Welcome to Our Gold Road. So in this video, we went for Donna's birthday trip and we decided to go to Santa Fe, New Mexico. I did. We did a ton of fun stuff. No, you're not gonna sing it? Okay, perfect. No. So in 10 days, I have a note card. We did so much stuff. 14 trails, a day of river rafting, three state parks, two national park sites, two waterfalls. We got to tour a sustainable community. Are you counting? A sustainable count. community, don't mess me up, of upcycled homes and ancestral Pueblo ruins, petroglyphs, a natural rock arch. We got to see one of America's tallest bridges we walked through a real life Allison in Wonderland like experience and saw a partridge in a pear tree. Yes. Partridge in a pear tree. Wait, did I get everything? I think I did. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. So, with all that, we had so much stuff to cover that it's going to be multiple videos we're going to show you. But in this video, we're going to stop at Oasis State Park and then we're going to show you the first couple hikes that we did. So now, let's go see this. Now that they're fixed, we need to check the lights before we leave. Oh, fantastic. You did such a great job. Yep. Right, Blinker? Yep. Look at the, you, look at you go. Reverse? Reverse? Yeah. Where's the brake? I'm on the brake. Okay, we'll turn off the reverse. Yeah. Okay, let's... we're good. Whoop, whoop. Still feel like we're forgetting something? I mean, I think, you know what? We'll just buy it if we forgot it. Pretty sure we remember everything. We have the checklist, but it almost feels like we always forget something. <sighs> it, I think it's inevitable. <laughs> Bandolier, here we go. storm around that house. I can't imagine living in that house. I can't either. Don't breathe. That's crazy. I thought something was on fire. You want some ice cream from the ice cream golf cart? Uh -huh. So we just arrived. We are staying at the Oasis State Park. It is a small park. There's not a lot to see as you can see behind me. It's just a one day layover on our way to our destination in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Okay, so I have to say that, you know, I get on Google reviews and you look at the, what people are saying about the state parks. And uh, this park is really pretty and it's really small and they often have sites that are open. But then you keep reading and evidently there's a cow farm ranch nearby. And so when the wind is blowing just right or wrong, then there's a heavy aroma. And so people have actually said that it's so strong that they cut their trip short. So just to be on the safe side, we're staying one night. But look, the wind is blowing the right way because I smell nothing. Okay, you want to know another reason why I chose this site is because there's only a few of the sites that have this little stone wall and I thought it was cute. Because yeah. not all, they, they have pavilions, they have discovery, but not all of them have that round wall. And I wanted one with the round wall. such a nice vault toilet you should come check it out it's nice or you can use the actual toilet that's over that way i woke up in texas and now i'm riding my bike in new mexico and you know that might not 
not be a big deal, but Texas is big. And why am I lapping you? morning we are about to leave uh are we going to talk about the poop situation yeah so update on the smell that people were talking about at the state park the it's wind is real. now blowing in the wrong direction or the right direction no, wrong direction wrong direction for our nose I think it's that but it's poo today it's yeah. poo but it's okay we are packed up and headed to santa fe got a car on the back a smart it's car a tiny car. Oh, it's a semi. I feel like we are driving past the busiest train track in the United States. Probably not, but it feels like it. Yeah. I think we passed seven or eight, eight. different trains. Eight. It's kind of crazy seeing all these trains and all these containers. And most of them are not moving, so I don't know what they're doing here, train but changing track. over but it's kind of crazy to see. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Did you look up donuts? Yeah, I, lo I was like, I thought maybe we might treat ourselves to some donuts. So I Googled donuts on NAV. And uh, up here on the, on the left, in 1.2 miles, uh, Melrose Tire Store has donuts. There we are. Show us how to dance. Show me how to dance. Can I have a dance? Stop! Going this way. Yep, yep. We're going this way. Yes! That's a big yes. slide. Yes! Come on! Where are we going? Let's go! There's surveillance cameras? Yeah, just in case you do something here. Well, Google was wrong. Google was wrong and they took us onto someone's private property and I was like, ooh, private drive. If you if you reach a private drive and you're trying to do Grasshopper Canyon, you've gone the wrong way. It's Get action. back on the freeway, go down farther. You'll see on the side of the freeway where people park. You gotta go past that up to the next exit, turn around, come back, and park. It's on the side of the freeway. I know what? We're going to do a trail. What's the trail name? Don't look at me, I don't know. Look at that girl. Let's go. <laughs> look, see it says Grasshopper Canyon. We gotta get there. Oh, there's a canyon with a grasshopper in it? I have no idea. Do you have to find a grasshopper? I don't know. Does a grasshopper tell you to turn around? No, Does this look like the canyon? Yeah. This does look like the end of a trail. It is. When you reach the big red evergreen, you reach the end. This is the end. Cool, huh? I told you we could have been like two minutes from the end. We turn around, yeah. and it's like you never did it. So we're not sure if that was a mile and a half. So we're gonna check it yeah. on the way back. We might be wusses. It might be like less than a mile and a half. Maybe we'll find out. Mm -hmm. So the distance is 1.42, under three miles. It took us 40 minutes, so it'd be an hour and a half. Hour and a half, hour and 20. So heading to Bandelier, <laughs> and we have low tire pressure. Luckily, thanks to Jim Vitito, who just gave us a portable air compressor. Oh, thanks, Jim. <laughs> We're gonna fill up our tire and hopefully get on the way. Hopefully we don't need to get it fixed. First trip out and we have yeah, to use it. First trip out and we have to use it. Now we switch it on. And after it's done, I'm gonna have you check the tire while I drive forward see if we can find something. I have to check the tire? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, right. I think we're good. Did you want to stop by discount tire first, just in case? Let's just check, you know? Let's okay. just check it. 
All right, so we're gonna stop by Discount Tire before we go hike Vandalier, just to make sure our tire is okay. <clears throat> so we're pulled in to get Discount Tire, but as we were pulling in, I looked over to my right and there is a Silver Street cab over camper. And um, it's in a hostel parking lot. And I know that the guy who has the vintage trailer lot, um, he's like the dragon keeper of vintage trailers, also owns the hostel. Hostel. Um, so I walked over and I asked, and there's a Spartan sitting in a parking lot and I can see over the fence in the back, there's at least one avian back there. So I know that it's gotta be the same guy. It was the same guy, but the vintage trailer lot is in a different location we're gonna go to later we are gonna go to later but I did peer over the fence to look at his little collection there <sighs> you're not the worst we I'm not the, the worst we don't have the biggest collection I'm not the best I should say I'm not, not the, the best, best. <laughs> can't wait say our tire is good cross our fingers if not we have fix a flat and the beautiful air compressor that was given to us on to band the leader all right we just checked in at the visitor center now we're gonna get our stuff together and do these hey, hikes what about this what is that don't forget $2 guide. Oh yeah, don't forget your $2 guide. And if you have a kid, don't forget their little Junior Ranger badge. Pack it, pack it. Junior Ranger pack it. Yeah. All right, we'll see you on the trail. You probably said we would do that for my birthday. That you don't go that way. I go that way. You go that way. How do we do? You don't know. Then you go this way. Oh, I forget. Oh. We're gonna have to practice that again. I quit. I hope. <laughs> no, you can't quit. Donna likes big trips for her birthday. And two stepping. And two stepping for her birthday. I like beaches. Where do you like to go for your birthday trips? Where would you pick? You can't hike on a beach. Uh, I know you can. You can swim in the ocean, though. You can't hike on the beach. You can't. You can ride a bike on a beach, just like in Mustang Island. We did do that. Yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did. They enjoyed the video. Yeah. If so. you liked it, make sure if you liked it like I did, you hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> and don't forget, we have more videos from Donna's Santa Fe birthday trip. So subscribe. Stay, subscribe below. <laughs> stay tuned for the next one. You're gonna to wanna to see all of it. Do you remember the list? There's a quiz. Do you remember the list of everything we talked about? Well, those videos are coming. So subscribe below so you can see all the Santa Fe trips because you're gonna to wanna to go to Santa Fe.